This is the Project Gemini Update, brought to you by Rifical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony Hay. Greetings, friends, and welcome to episode number 95 of the Project Gemini Update. So this is going to be kind of a short update. Um, What this is mainly here to do is to give you a brief uh, overview on the Christmas EP that will be dropping any time now, if not if it, if it hasn't already been dropped already. Uh, today being December 5th, I uh, initially want to apologize for being kind of late with delivering this. I did say it would be December 1st, but I wanted to get it done to, to the point where I was very happy and there was a few things I wanted to add to it, so it delayed a few days. But in any case, um, it's all done. There's four songs on it. Now, this is kind of a concept Christmas EP in a very slight way. And I'm here just to kind of explain what you're listening to. Um, So the first... Okay, let's put it this way. The overall story of this is basically uh, the Christmas procrastinator. And we all know that there's lots of us. Maybe it's even us who are like that. The last minute shopper... Uh, Christmas Eve shopper. This is based on something like that. So this is based on the like a quick story of a procrastinator Christmas shopper. So song one is called uh, 6 a.m. And basically it just starts off with some sound and an alarm clock. And basically you hear him turn on his clock radio and hearing that it's 6 a.m. in the morning and not being very impressed with getting up so damn early in the morning to go do his last minute Christmas shopping. And then you have the accompanying music to it. Uh, The second song on here is called The Morning Drive, which basically takes you outside his house, walking into the car, starting up the car, and then the drive to the store, the city center shopping mall. And uh, the music is just kind of like how I envision the car drive to be in a musical sense. Uh, Song three, is something of a more comically approached written song called The Mad Dash. And there you hear the procrastinator walking towards the store, opening a door, and just the overwhelming sound of children inside this store. And the chaos of him trying to find these presents at the last minute is basically how this music was written. It's almost like a 50 sounding song, very upbeat. And, you know, you have little overdubs of, you know, uh, store PA announcements of, you know, flash sales and stuff like that. So uh, that's how song three is written. And song four, the final song, is called Solitude. Now, basically, this is pretty self-explanatory. You get back home after your long day of Christmas shopping. You get in, light the fireplace, get yourself a drink of your preference, sit yourself down on your, you know, sofa and just enjoy the evening. And that's really how I focused the last song to be a very much a uh, subtle kind of solitude, like a solitude kind of song to get you into the right mood to get to sleep and get yourself ready for the next day. So that's kind of how I approached these songs. I wanted it to have some kind of connecting thread to it. And I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed and find, you know, the find the story in it and find the humor in it and even find the solitude in it. Maybe, um, you'll find some music in here that'll really connect with you. I really hope it does. Uh, the album cover for this was done again by Jason Paul, and he did a fantastic job on it. And uh, yeah, so uh, again, I'll be posting it very soon if it isn't already posted now. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, anything that I get uh, cont- contribution-wise toward it will all go towards the making of the lacquer for my uh, vinyl release of in the years 3073 book one uh and thank you for all of you who uh bought the record store day release uh it did very well and i'm very happy about that and thank you again for all your support uh christmas is coming and that leads me to my other topic i wanted to talk to you guys about really quickly uh cds are in the mail they're on their way slowly one by one i'm getting messages on the facebook that people are receiving them Uh, i just ask for your patience uh because the mail system now is kind of crazy with Christmas. Uh, and also I had to do some of the uh, bonus CDs 
I had finished just now and got, got them all done for you guys. The two CDs they're in, they're being shipped. The only thing that hasn't been shipped yet, and they're being set, sent separately from the CDs, so, so your CDs won't be delayed, are the people who ordered the handwritten lyrics. I'm one set of drawings away from completing them, so maybe be one more night of me doing my drawing, and then they will all be sent separately in a nice folder to you. And uh, that's that. So don't worry, your CDs will come though before that. Uh, and just be patient with those handwritten lyrics. They look really nice. I think you guys will really enjoy them. So that's it for me uh, for this really short update. Um, I hope you guys are all doing very well. And I will be back soon with more news uh, about 2020 and what's to come. Lots of things going to be happening and then lots of things going to be happening then. And uh, I'll be talking to you about it then. And I'm even going to be back before then with my look back at 2019 and, uh, you know, other things about 2019, my favorite records that came out and so on and so forth. But until then, have a great evening and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.